So you go past the ancient sea cliff and over the glacier river. Then cross the desolate floodplain. Our glacier will be on the right hand side. The area of Urav is known for extremes when it comes to weather. By far the most known and disruptive, downslope windstorms gain speed as they flow down from the ice cap, capable of breaking windows and blowing cars off the road. The mass and height of the glacier also forces warm moist air to rise and cool, leading to high precipitation in the form of snow, a cycle that maintains the glacier's existence. The volcanically layered mountains surrounding Svinafellsjökull are no match to the erosive force of the glacier. But the glacier's erosive force is dependent on its mass. Since the start of glaciation in Iceland three to four million years ago, the glaciers have often nearly lost their grip on power, becoming isolated islands of ice, surviving only on the highest mountains. While the ice cap of Vatnajökull contains around 3,000 cubic kilometers of water, or the equivalent of 20 years of precipitation, it has lost 10% of its mass since 1890. This loss can clearly be seen by the outlet glaciers, all of which are thinning and retreating. To the inhabitants of Uravi, glaciers have mostly been a force of destruction. An advancing glacier swallows up whatever land lay in front, creeping forward towards pastures and farms, aided with the flow of its soil-eroding rivers. While alarming in a global context, the present retreat of glaciers in Uravi mean the return of soil and vegetation, held by lichens, worms, insects, flowers, birds, and finally trees. The mineral-rich soil becomes fertile, and the glacier loses a battle in an ongoing war. More mobile, a new settler has recently arrived. Ten percent of the world's surface is covered with glaciers, part of the water trilogy, solid, liquid and gas. The implications of ice for human life include freshwater storage, energy reflector, foundation for hydroelectric energy, climate controller and a vault of information revealing volcanic eruptions, past temperatures and CO2 levels. Answers to questions relating to man-made climate change are to be found in the frozen archives of glaciers.
Each year, the glacier erodes one millimeter of bedrock, deepening the valley floor, which can reach 100 meters below sea level. As the glaciers of Örave and the world keep retreating, their work and the geologic history below is revealed. The western wall of Svartikletar, or Black Cliffs, contain a 300,000 year history of eruptions through intermittent layers of lava, the equivalent of tree rings. To read this history, one must know the language of geology and imagination. The clan of Svinefell, isolated as they were by geography, used to control a quarter of Iceland during the 13th century, while its fame rests partly on an infamous arson attack. The 14th century brought an end to the glory as the climate cooled and a volcanic eruption in 1362 near wiped out the population, leaving the area uninhabited for 50 years. At present, the climate warms, glaciers shrink, and the former isolation of Öravi is in the past. Just may your rain 
Mm-hmm.